Bone. Consultant. Flashy title. I like that. <laughs> Fits on a business card. Um, and you're here to talk to us about um, how to behave basically on New Year's Eve, either how to be the perfect guest or the perfect host at mm -hmm. a New Year's party, um, which uh, is very important to know. So we're going to start off with um, being the perfect host. Now, if uh, a lot of people are having folks over, um, so what are your tips on how to be the perfect host for a New Year's party? Well, first of all, uh, the invitation is really important, and it's important to uh, put as much information into the invitation as possible as host because it sets the tone for the party. It lets the guests know what's expected of them. Um, so one of the things that you would want to put in the invitation is clarifying who's invited. Um, the uh, it's not a, well in in any party situation the. Uh, um, spouses and children aren't always on the invitation, so it's really important to. Okay, so that. specifically, you and a guest, or you and the kids, or you and the dogs, or that sort of thing. Exactly. But not outline all everybody who's coming to the party. Oh no no okay. um, no! Just letting people know who they should be bringing with okay. them. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and uh, so once you know uh, who you're allowed to bring, um, what you're supposed to bring. Um, well, the host should also indicate in the invitation what's expected. So um, BYOB or potluck parties are a great inexpensive way to entertain, but I always recommend just having those kinds of gatherings with close friends and family rather than people that you don't know very well. Okay. Um, what about uh, who you invite? About who you who you would invite? Yeah. Um, well, one of the things that's important when you're putting together together the guest list is to uh, think about what your guests share in common. So um, this will make your job as host much easier because you won't be standing there trying to gather people together the whole evening. But also when you're um, introducing people to each other, it will give them um, sort of an idea of what they share in common so they have something to talk about as well. So everybody's not standing around you while you're standing in the kitchen, which is, uh, again, your last tip, not to spend all night in the kitchen, which, you know, it just doesn't seem to matter how often we hear that. As the host of a party, I think that's where we spend most of our night. We do, and our guests tend to follow us wherever we go. Mm -hmm. so, um, so, yes, try to get as many of those food preparations and things done ahead of time so that when you're actually entertain your guests, you can enjoy their company rather than spending your whole time in the kitchen. Okay, so if you are going to be a guest at a party, what are your tips for guests for New Year's? Uh, well, first of all, you would want to RSVP as soon as possible and always within the time frame indicated. Don't just show up at the person's house assuming that they're expecting you. Um, always you know, be considerate of the fact that they have a number of guests to consider. Um, and if you are going to be bringing a host gift, um, which I always do recommend, uh, could be uh, flowers, box of chocolates, a small wrap gift, or even a bottle of wine. But one thing you do have to consider, if it is a bottle of wine, it is meant to be um, a gift for the host, unless it's been indicated in the invitation to, um, you know, by the host to bring a bottle of wine. Right. It should be considered a gift, and it shouldn't be expected to be open during the evening. My favorite uh, hostess gift was I was at a party with Squire last Last year, and he showed up with a bag of uh, hostess cupcakes and ding dongs <laughs> and all things by hostess, which I thought was very funny. That's great. So, yeah. <laughs> Is the hostess gift? Yeah, you know. <laughs> I mean they can be funny, right? You don't have they don't always have to be um, things that are really serious. No, so exactly. Anything to lighten the mood for sure. Right. Um, your last two, obviously, be on your best behavior. You're at somebody else's house, mm -hmm. so and don't drink too much. Uh, you know, things do come back back to haunt you the next day. So really, be on your best behavior and don't don't gossip or um, criticize anything to do with the evening. Party recap the next day is always very entertaining. <laughs> yes. Uh -oh. um, and your last tip. Don't don't leave last. Exactly. Um, really pay attention to the time and always leave within the time frame indicated. So if it's an open house, naturally there will be a time frame indicated, but sometimes there isn't. So you have to take your cue from the host. And uh, especially New Year's, I mean, parties do tend to go on a little later than usual. So, uh, you know, when the host starts yawning, I think that's a good indication. It's probably time to consider leaving. If the host is sitting on the couch napping, time to go. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All yes. right. Great advice. Thanks, Kimberly. And uh, hopefully, Mark, a lot of people will pay attention to that. If you want any more information, uh, Personal Impact International is Kimberly, Kimberly's company, personalimpact.ca. Check out our website. Uh -oh. <laughs> Thanks for that. Thank you. I well, love Squire's idea about the hostess gift, so I just thought that, that was, was the funniest thing ever. Yeah, only Squire could think of that. You know, I and twinkle.